So I'm going to be really honest with you. When Kelly over at Freedom in a Budget, who I love, invited me to do this collab, I was like, how weight loss has saved me money? Yeah, it hasn't saved me money. I've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. But then I came to a realization. It really has saved me a lot of money. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Let me give you a quick background. So I used to weigh a lot more than I weigh now. I am not at my ideal weight by any stretch of the imagination, but I have lost between 65 and 75 pounds, depending on the time of year. I do tend to pack on about 10 pounds around the winter time. I have kept it off for several years now, and I would like to lose the rest of it, and I will at some point, but right now we're, we're focused on finances, and I tried focusing on both things at one time, and I really found it to be quite stressful, so I'm just kind of chilling with the weight loss thing until we meet our financial goals, our immediate financial goals, and then I'll get back on focusing on that. I do try and eat very, very healthy, especially when I'm eating like by myself, when I make my work lunches and my breakfast and stuff like that, they're extremely healthy. I tend to gravitate towards veg vegetarian or vegan dishes. Those just are the most fulfilling food wise for me. I know I'm weird, but I really truly love fruits and vegetables. That's like my my jam. As I mentioned, I did struggle a lot in the beginning with coming up with, with a way that losing weight has saved me money. So I actually came up with two things that really have helped me. And it was really obvious and I don't know why I didn't think of it immediately. So I probably am not going to be the only one who deals with this, but before at my heaviest, I was diabetic. I had low functioning thyroid. I had high blood pressure. I, I had two other things that were going wrong. I, I can't even remember what they were right now, but they were all directly tied into how much I weighed. And once I started losing weight, those things disappeared almost immediately. And I, every blood test or workup I have had since I have lost the weight, has been perfect. I've got no health issues at all other than my dystonia, which will never go away, and acne, which is acne. What are you gonna do about that? Um, but other than that, I have no health issues, real, true health issues. So I started thinking about being diabetic and my father's diabetic. Being diabetic is extremely expensive. I was not on insulin, but I was using injectable medication. So I had to buy the medicine. I had to buy the needles. I had to buy the blood testing strips. And a lot of it was covered by my insurance, but a lot of it wasn't. And I was constantly buying medication and co-pays and I would get sick so easily. And now I don't have that problem, knock on wood, she says, and I'll probably be sick next week, but I really don't get sick very often anymore. And I was sick constantly when I was diabetic. And it just, it's one thing after another, when you, when you have diabetes, not only do you have to watch what you eat constantly, but there's so much energy that goes into it. So medically wise and medical cost, yeah, being diabetic is expensive. And plus all the other medications I was having to take. So yeah, that in itself is a huge savings. So another thing that being on Weight Watchers has really helped me with is putting vegetables and fruits first, which is never difficult for me. And But I've started... I started doing that this summer and realized I could fill up on fruits and vegetables for very low calorie. And so when I would eat horribly in the evening, maybe with my family or whatever, it didn't impact my weight. I could make a lot more bad choices when I had two very healthy meals a day. And now the, ideally I would have three very healthy meals a day, but for right now, two is awesome. And I am very easily maintaining my weight by doing this. Now, fruits and vegetables are by far some of the most expensive things you can eat. But 
doing that and doing a video about it led me to hear about a CSA. And I, I mean, I do a whole video on this, but there is a local farmer's market here that has CSA shares. And I would get one share every week of whatever vegetables were in season. And one, it allowed me to eat vegetables that were in season, locally grown and delicious and flavorful. Now, did that save me money? A little bit. Um, it wasn't hugely savings because at the time that we were doing the CSA, the refrigerator died. So I didn't get to keep them cold for as long. So some of them went bad. But I think if we do this again in the spring, which I'm leaning towards, it's a huge payment up front. You know, like for the fall, it was like, I don't even remember, like $300 but you get a lot of vegetables all at one time. And so if we do it for the spring and into the summer, it, it's gonna be more money, but it is, I don't have to worry about purchasing vegetables for the week because literally there are so many vegetables that come in that I can actually eat vegetables for two meals a day and still have vegetables left over for the family. So, so we may go ahead and do that. I haven't decided yet, but that, I think in the long run will save us a huge amount of money. It's really cool. I, I really loved doing it. So, and I'm going to do a whole video on that probably in the spring. So thanks to Kelly for inviting me. This was super, I love doing collabs that make me think. And I had never really considered how losing weight had impacted my finances, but it really, it has definitely because we were spending hundreds of dollars a month on medicine. Hundreds. Yeah. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.